Let me first thank God, uh, Mr. Chief Minister, and to everyone that presented, and also to all of the distinguished awardees and distinguished guests. I am truly honored and humbled uh, to be presented this award by the Academy for Human Rights. But I'm reminded not just of words we just heard by my father, but certainly whenever I come to this nation, I cannot come to this nation without paying tribute to Mohandas K. Gandhi for what he represented. for what he represented and represents throughout our world, which is becoming smaller and smaller every day because of technology. He challenged all of us consistently. And he certainly challenged my father consistently and mother. Because the, the world in which we live is a very interesting world, but yet sometimes not as concerned as an, and as compassionate as it needs to be. For we have all the resources that we need to eradicate poverty. We have all the resources that we need to ensure that this planet is healthy from an environmental standpoint and from uh, a physical standpoint. We have all the resources that we need so that no one on any nation could not have appropriate education. We have all the resources that we need so that everyone could have at least a decent home. We have all the resources that we need for justice to occur all over our globe. But yet we sometimes forget, certainly about the least of these God's children. And so today, uh, I actually had a speech and because of airplane troubles and luggage not arriving, I had to come from the heart, really. But today we stand on the brink of a very important moment. For when we leave this place this afternoon, the question is, what shall each of us do to try to make this small planet, which is large in numbers, a better place than it was when we arrived? As a child, my father was gunned down when I was 10 years old. My uncle mysteriously drowned when I was 11. My grandmother was killed when I was 16. My father by a white man, my grandmother by a black man. It would have been very easy to embrace hatred and hostility. I certainly could have disliked blacks and disliked whites. But what I'm thankful for was the example that my mother and grandfather and family provided me that taught me how to love, taught me how to dislike the evil act, but to still love the individual. In our world, we must learn how to forgive, not necessarily forget, but how to forgive and how to find a way to lift up love and lift up the best in humanity. I get inspiration as I close from something I saw as a child. My mother took me to the school where she attended college in the United States, Antioch College. And on that college was a statue of the educator Horace Mann. And there was an inscription under that statue that I will remember all of my days because it made an indelible impact upon me. 
That scripture simply said, be ashamed to die until you've won a victory for humanity. Now you may say, Brother King, that's grandiose, that's huge, that's something I cannot do. But yes, everyone can do something. Everyone, my dad used to say, can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to necessarily have a PhD to serve. You don't have to have a, a lot of money to serve. You just have to have the right heart to make a difference. So whether it is in your village or your city or your state or your region or your nation or whether it's in our world, just be ashamed to die until you've done a little something to make this place where we all live a little better than it was when you arrived. Thank you and God bless each and every one of you always. Can we follow that example and give a standing ovation, please, all of you, to Dr. King? That's an absolutely amazing reaction. Thank you so much.